Good morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Monday, August 5th, 2013. The big news over the weekend was the terror alert issued by the United States government late on Friday. Apparently, according to online chatter amongst Al-Qaeda and the Arabian Peninsula members, a spectacular wide-scale terror event is planned against American interests sometime in the upcoming week, most likely coinciding with the end of Ramadan. American diplomatic posts in 19 cities in the Muslim world will now remain closed at least until the end of this week. The uh, facilities in Egypt, Jordan, Libya, Yemen, Saudi Arabia, and Kuwait as well as Madagascar, Burundi, Rwanda, and Mauritius will remain closed. The British and the French have also issued similar warnings. There is a global travel alert uh, advised for American citizens traveling anywhere, warning them to stay away from public transportation and large groups of other tourists and or Americans. Over the weekend, uh, American politicians were on the Sunday morning TV shows saying that this was the most heightened terror alert based on the hardest evidence that they've seen in years. It remains to be seen what will happen, however, uh, no doubt people are on pins and needles. In Louisiana yesterday afternoon, a Union Pacific train derailed. The train had apparently uh, some 76 cars on board. A number of them held vinyl chloride which is a corrosive and flammable material. Um, there have been no reports of any injuries or the amount leaking so far apparently is very small. However, some 50 homes in the area have been evacuated. Berkshire Hathaway reported their numbers on Friday afternoon after the market closed. Uh, they saw a 46% increase in net profit uh, of $4.54 billion compared to a year ago. However, they uh, did take a hit from their insurance underwriting operations. They dropped from $619 million in profit down to $530 million, mainly as a result of uh, European flood loss claims. The Australian insurance group QBE said that it has set aside about $3.64 million for the immediate needs of those affected by last week's Spanish train crash in northwest uh, Spain, which left 79 people dead. QBE may have to cover much higher cost of injuries, uh, but only if its client, in this case the state train operator Renfe, is found to bear responsibility for the accident. Uh, QBE said that the uh, releasing of this money did not mean that they recognized responsibility, which will be decided by a legal process, but they wanted to get money into the hands of those who were injured or killed. The company will offer $33,000 U.S. for every passenger killed in the accident and some $6,600 to any passenger who spent more than eight days in the hospital. You know, the company that could be on the hook for this are Germany's Allianz. Um, it'll depend on what's found in the investigation. Heavy rains and flash floods have collapsed homes throughout Pakistan over the weekend, killing 53 people. Civil and military authorities have launched rescue efforts. Uh, the flooding was especially bad in Pakistan's largest city of Karachi because of the city's faulty drainage system. Um, Pakistan suffered the worst floods in its 66-year history back in 2010 when over 1,700 people were killed. This does not seem to be in that uh, area yet. Hailstorms in Germany last weekend apparently are, are going to end up causing, uh, costing the German insurance industry some 600 million euros. This is not too far from the all-time record that insurers had to pay out in 1984 of 760 million euros. Uh, this time Bavaria seems to have escaped damage while the neighboring state of Baden-Württemberg registered the majority of claims. Allianz, the largest European insurer, suspects it will have to pay out 200 million euros in claims. Uh, Württemberg Insurance has already recorded claims amounting to some 30 million. Um, in contrast to flooding, for which German businesses have to buy separate insurance, hail is considered part of the normal German building insurance contract, so as a result there's no dispute as to whether or not the company has to pay. In Baden-Württemberg, for example, hailstones were six and a half inches wide. Uh, no doubt the uh, damage caused to automobiles and home roofs was uh, major as a result of those things. Today at 12 noon Eastern Time, Major League Baseball is going to announce the suspensions against a number of star players for uh, illegal use of steroids. 
It's expected that the most highly played, paid player in the game, Alex Rodriguez, is going to be named. He may receive a suspension of some uh, 150 games, which would knock him out through all of next year. Mr. Rodriguez is expected to appeal the suspension and is expected to be in the starting lineup when the Yankees play the Chicago White Sox tonight. This is going to be interesting. There is an awful lot of money at stake. The Yankees still owe Rodriguez $145 million. They're desperate to get out of paying it, but do not want to appear to be saying that publicly. More to come. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.